Swiss National Bank is interested in delving into Kazakhstan's developments with a digital tenge, said a member of governing board of National Bank of Switzerland, Attilio Zanetti, in an interview to my colleague Baljan Samigulina. He commended Kazakhstan's for spearheading the digitalization of currency, deeming the country's experience crucial not only for Switzerland, but for the global community of central banks. According to Zanetti, Swiss National Bank is interested to launch a joint project on the digitalization of the currencies. Watch the details right now. Thank you very much for joining us today. In June interview, the head of National Bank of Switzerland, Thomas Jordan, mentioned that uh, it is important to stabilize the inflation index up to uh, until 2%, but in August it reached even a less point of 1.90. How did you reach such achievement? And what is the next target of National Bank on fighting with inflation, please? Yes, uh, actually the latest number is 1.7%. Um, in the cycle, inflation went up to, uh, uh, to a peak of 3.5% in Switzerland. So um, much less than in other countries but still too much uh, for our definition of price stability. We define price stability in Switzerland as an inflation rate between 0 and 2%. So we are happy with any inflation rate between 0 and 2%. So 3.5 was too much. Uh, what we um, tightened monetary policy starting uh, from the end of 2021, initially by allowing an appreciation of the, of the nominal exchange rate. So the appreciation of the nominal exchange rate protected the country from imported inflation. And on top of that, we also hiked interest rate in, in various steps. Let us switch to the topic of cooperation with Kazakhstan. In which areas uh, Swiss National Bank cooperates with Kazakhstan? And can we expect maybe new projects in the, in the field of finance? We have had over many years now very intense and very fruitful uh, relationships with uh, Kazakh authorities in general and more specifically with the central bank. We have had a number of uh, projects over, or common projects over various uh, right, uh, uh, range of areas including uh, um, payment system, uh, risk management, asset management and so on. Over, over the years I think we have had more than 20 common projects. Now I think going forward we will be very interested in uh, understanding more the work that has been done in Kazakhstan with the digital tenge and where this project is, is evolving. I think uh, Kazakhstan is leading the way uh, in the digitalization of money and the experience that we will we'll observe in Kazakhstan will be very important, not just for Switzerland, but for the entire community of, uh, of central banks around the world. Are there any already negotiations in, in uh, cooperating in digitalization? No, there, I mean, there's no the need. specific project maybe? No, there is no need for, 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 for negotiation. We have a very informal relationship and we will set up meetings and, and a dialogue that is appropriate on both sides to, uh, to, to exchange the information that, are, that is needed. Thank you. Let me ask the last question. Do you think uh, what is the probability of global financial crisis, especially considering today's, uh, today's geopolitical uh, confrontations uh, arena? And do you look at the future of uh, ec global economy with more optimism or pessimism? I think that the main scenario is the one where you know, central banks will have to maintain interest rate uh, at a high level long enough to bring down inflation. I think this is going to be the main focus of central banks. If that succeeds, then we can go back to, uh, to a more normal, uh, normal circumstances. Of course, the, the world is a dangerous place and you can have shocks, unexpected events uh, coming up any time and central banks will have to react. But at the moment, um, you know, as you mentioned, we, l we live in a world of tensions in geopolitical terms, uh, but it doesn't seem that this has generated really a risk of a global financial crisis. So we cross the fingers and hope that this uh, will remain the case. So you are more into optimism in this regard? Yeah, cautious optimism, I would say. <laughs>